Welcome to how to set up and operate the Beofeng UV5R transceiver, a tutorial for newcomers to ham radio, scanning, and transceivers. This is part 8, Setup for Ham Radio Use. The Beofeng UV5R allows customization for nearly any VHF or UHF application from casual personal use to business and industrial use to public emergency and ham radio use. Several of the menu item options are not necessary for the ham radio operator. So let's disable some of the default options that are not necessary for ham radio, beginning with the tail tone elimination feature. The default setting for tail tone elimination is on. Some radio networks use a continuous tone coded squelch system or CTCSS. This allows different groups of radio users to operate on the same frequency. It also allows users to filter out unwanted, noisy signals on that frequency. The CTCSS can be used to limit access to a repeater or network. It could be used to prevent a repeater hearing its own transmission. But CTCSS users can also experience a reverse burst in a series of transmissions between a mobile or portable subscriber unit and the base station or repeater, there normally is a loud burst of audio at the end of each transmission as the subs subscriber unit quits transmitting but the re receiver squelch is still open. This typically is referred to as a squelch tail. In a series of short transmissions, squelch tail becomes quite annoying. To eliminate this end of transmission noise, the squelch tail, the radio has the option of sending a warning to the other radios. Immediately after the transmitter releases the PTT button, the radio sends out a tone that is 180 degrees out of phase. If the other radios are able to detect that out of phase tone, they immediately mute their receiver audio, and the squelch tail noise is not heard. This allows a quiet, abrupt end of the transmission. However, this tail tone elimination only works when other radios have the tail tone enabled. For ham radio use, we'll be disabling two options. Uh, number 35, tail tone elimination, the default setting is on, and option 36, repeater tail tone elimination, the default setting is 5. We will also verify that the following options are set off by default. The option 37, repeater tail tone delay, option setting should be off. And option 39, roger, the transmit tone end. Again, the default should be off. Radio is on. Frequency mode. We're in frequency mode. Menu 35, menu. Menu. Off. Scroll to off. Confirm with menu. Confirm. And exit. Let's do the same thing with menu option 36. Menu, menu. 36, menu. Scroll to off. and menu. Confirm. Exit. Let's verify that the following options are set off by default. Menu 37. Menu. And it is off, so I'll just exit. Menu 39. Menu. Again, it is defaulted off. So we're good, we can exit. Option 39 was labeled in the menu as Roger, and it sends a tone at the end of each transmission. It is found most annoying by most ham radio users. Good work. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.